Hello everyone. Today we are reading this beautiful story book named Laura's Christmas Star. It is written by Claus Baumgart. Do you believe in magic? asked Tommy, watching Laura pack her suitcase. They were going to Aunt Martha's for Christmas this year. Laura smiled. It was a quiet, secret smile. Sometimes, she said, Aunt Martha says her Christmas tree looks magical. Tommy went on. She says it's huge and sparkly and it glitters like a zillion stars. I can't wait to see it. Are you packed? asked Mum, coming into the room. She gave them both a hug. It's time for bed now. Otherwise, you'll both be tired and grumpy on the journey to Aunt Martha's tomorrow. Laura closed her eyes, letting pictures of a zillion glittery stars float into her thoughts. Is it morning yet? asked Tommy. Laura opened one eye. We've only just gone to bed, she said. Go back to sleep. Laura closed her eyes again and thought of huge sparkly Christmas trees and colourful crackers. Is it time to get up yet? asked Tommy. Not nearly, said Laura. It's still the middle of the night. Ten minutes passed. It seemed like ten years to Tommy. Is it morning now? asked Tommy, nudging Laura awake. Laura opened both her eyes. She seemed to have slept a long time. I think it must be, she said. Laura and Tommy jumped up, pulled on their clothes and ran into mum and dad's bedroom. It's not time to get up, groaned mum, waking up. Go back to sleep, go back to bed. Laura and Tommy wandered back to their room, but they didn't go to bed. They sat by the window staring out at the zillions of sparkly, glittering stars. Look! cried Tommy, pointing. That, that star's brighter than the others. Laura smiled her secret smile. The bright star was her own special magic star. She had once rescued it when it had fallen from the sky. When it was better, she had set it free. But though it was now far away, she knew it was her friend. Can you spot the star? That's the one, yes. Finally, morning came. Laura and Tommy helped mum and dad pack the car. Nearby on the pavement, a man was selling Christmas trees. He waved at them and shouted, Happy Christmas! We are going to Aunt Martha's, Tommy shouted back. She's got a Christmas tree that's huge and sparkly and glitters like a zillion stars. At last they drove off. The sky began to turn all grey and soft. It looked as if it was going to snow. As they reached the country, beautiful snowflakes began to drift down. Laura and Tommy pressed their noses against the car window and watched them cover the earth like icing on a Christmas cake. Suddenly, the car began to rattle. It began to cough. It sounds like it's got a bad cold, said Laura. It sounds like it's broken down, said Mum. Everyone got out and Dad opened up the bonnet. He pulled at some wires but he didn't get the car started. Everyone climbed back into the car and waited for the repairman to arrive. It grew colder and colder and everyone huddled together to keep warm. Dad tried singing Christmas songs and telling jokes, but the songs sounded flat and the jokes weren't funny. I'll tell you a story, said Laura. It's about a magic Christmas star that saves everybody. But as she started, Tommy began to cry. There's no such thing as magic, he whispered sadly. We'll never get to Aunt Martha's now. 
I'll never get to see her huge sparkly Christmas tree that glitters like a zillion stars. By the time the repair man had mended the car, it was too late to go to Aunt Martha's. Tommy tried not to cry as Dad drove back home and they carried their suitcases into the house. Tommy stayed sad as the daylight faded and the night crept back into the sky. I wish I could do something to make Tommy happy again, Laura whispered. She looked out of her bedroom and her special star appeared. It shone down at her as if it understood Tommy's sadness. The man who had been selling Christmas trees had long since gone. But suddenly, Laura noticed that he had left behind a little tree. I'll get it for Tommy, Laura cried. Maybe it will cheer him, him up. Can you spot a tiny tree in the snow? Laura ran outside to where the little tree was lying. Come indoors with me, she said. You look awfully lonely out here on your own. Laura carried the tree into the house. Thanks for getting it, said Tommy sadly. It's a nice little tree, but it's not very sparkly, is it? It's not very glittery. Laura looked at the tree. Tommy was right. It could never be like the magical tree Aunt Martha had promised them. Laura went upstairs to sit by her window. At least she could tell her star how helpless she felt. It always listened to her and understood. But as she looked into the night sky, she gasped with horror. Her special star had disappeared. Now Laura was as, as sad as Tommy. There wasn't much to feel happy about now. She had now that she had lost her special friend. And maybe Tommy was right. Maybe there was no such thing as magic after all. Suddenly she heard Dad calling to them. Laura, Tommy, come here quickly. Puzzled, the two children trailed downstairs. Look, gasped Mum, as they all stood by the living room door. Laura and Tommy looked. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. It's wonderful, cried Tommy, turning to Laura with shining eyes. But how could it have happened? Laura smiled her quiet secret smile. She knew, of course, it must be magic, she said. And what had just happened? Her magic special star from the sky had come down to their small little tree and it filled it up with glitter. It filled it up with shine and that made Tommy and Laura both very happy. And do you know how that happened? It happened because Laura believed. She believed in magic and she believed in her magic little star. Hope you enjoyed the story.